But we've got some more live action Disney movies in the works because okay. everybody is, is really asking for them. Yeah, everybody loves these. Yep. Everybody wants more. Yeah. The direction that Disney's going right now with the live actions, I feel they're going to get like Ariana Grande or something like that to be Tiana. Disney would not dare change that character. Oh? Street Fighter 6. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are going to be new challengers. We've got the return of Batman the Animated Series, but Without obviously... Kevin Conroy. Yeah. With the success of Barbie, older toys from the past are now mm-hmm. going to the box office. Thanks, Barbie. Look what you did. Let Let's us talk, talk about, about it. it. Welcome to the SF Files, this is your host, Bogus Bird, and joining me today, we've got the Bubble Guts Sufferer, <laughs> Agent K, What's and going on, guys? followed by the Forefront Gunning Machine, Hot Dog Whisperer, you Gun sucker, you got me, a-hole, <laughs> I was about to do my pose and everything. <laughs> oh, he's angry, he's hot, he's angry, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just like a lot of people are going to be when they hear today's story. Gentlemen, we got to start off hot, man. We're starting off hot. Mm. Disney. They're at it again. Oh, what are you doing now? What, 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 what do you got for us there, Brother B? What do you got for us? All right. Well, first story of the day. We've got some more live action Disney movies in the works. Mm. Yes. Because okay. everybody is it's really. Asking for them. Yeah. Everybody loves these. Yep. Everybody wants more. Yeah. Yeah, right. Totally, Every totally. single Disney movie we wanted totally. in live action. Fantastically, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The next victim is going to be Tangled. Mm. Tangled, yes. Yes, that's not even yeah. an animated movie. It's a 3D, one of the CGI movies. It uh, is. Uh, uh, so Tangled came out in 2010. 2010, yeah. Guys, this movie is not that old. Not really. No, it's 13 it's years 13. old. Mm hmm. I mean, okay. At, when they started doing this, it was like. Okay, not okay. You know, they started with the older stuff, right? Like the stuff that kind of might need a facelift, something for the new generation, something kind of like Snow White. Okay, that, that that's garbage. But uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like Sleeping Beauty, they Uh-oh. went with uh, Beauty and the Beast. They went with the Dalmatians, you know, prior to these more recent ones. But those were, you know, movies back from the fifties, sixties. You know, it's been a good minute. Right. Since those have seen, like, you know, Disney adoration, new iteration ones. But this, a 13 year old movie, what are they, what are, what are they thinking? Is, is this a cash grab? I, think um, so. I feel like a lot of these have been cash grabs. Well, yeah. yeah. They're, they're okay. Honestly, they're probably just going to remake all the movies, even though, like, they're still new or mm-hmm. recent. Yeah. Right. I mean, I, I've, I've heard that, like, Maui is in the works for, like, live action, isn't it? Someone or like Moana, that. my bad. Oh, I, yeah. thought he, I thought he was just in the talks that The Rock wanted to make the... Oh, it, oh it's already it's oh, already it's in the works. Yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah, they already casted Lilo. They casted, of course, The Rock. He's going to play, be playing Maui again. Wait, did you call her Lilo? Like Moana. Lilo did I? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I did, did say yeah. Lilo. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad. Yeah. Moana. They're both yeah, Hawaiian. Ma- same same day. <laughs> You're right, you're right. Moana, my bad, my bad. But Lilo and Stitch was another one that they had uh, in the works. Uh, yeah. they, they'd cast uh, Lilo and a few other characters. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think filming has started on that one too, huh? I think it did. And then because of the the whole strike and everything, everything's on pause for now. Right. The Moana one, that one's pretty fresh too. It's not that old. It's well, like know. five years old. Something like that, yeah. 2016. Moana's from 2016. That's four, That's seven years. Yeah, that's a seven-year-old movie. Yeah. First of all, where's the, where's the sequel? Where's the sequel to Mo- Where's Moana two? Mm-hmm. You know what? Moana was good enough <laughs> to where I think they could get a sequel. I, I think, I so, think if, so. If they wrote the story out right. Yeah, Th- that's mm. one that I've watched many times, mostly because my kids are watching it. But every time it's on, it's like I'm don't lie. watching it. You know, you're watching it because you love it. I love the two songs that, from it. That, <laughs> yeah. You like the crap part. I do. That's a good shiny, point, yeah. That's shiny, a good point. with the lips. That's a good song mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the "You're Welcome." Yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I, I, yeah, 
Yeah, I, like, I like. I like. It's a good movie. Moana's a good I, movie. I ain't gonna lie. Mm-hmm. The, the rooster was one of my favorite characters in that movie. <laughs> you 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 identified with it? Yeah. No, yeah. I thought of my little brother. Is that older, your <laughs> Adrian K? <laughs> How to yeah. feed him, how to make sure he was good, not mm-hmm. heading the wrong direction. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, right, right, right. Yeah, I don't think he ever did any of that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Don't lie. So Tangled was actually a good movie. <laughs> it, it was, Tang- yeah. It was. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, I, I actually liked it too. Yeah. But still, it, it's uh, it's a 13-year-old movie. Yeah. Why? Pretty new. Relatively new compared to like other Disney works. Uh, agreed. Agreed. I mean, I'm not saying that I want this. No, because they're. But if they're gonna do anything at all, it it shouldn't be something that's still fairly fresh, fairly new. I don't know what I don't know what they're doing. Why don't they make like a Woody movie like they did for Buzz Lightyear? Because Disney owes Pixar too, right? I think. Yeah, yeah, they, they. I think, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, Pixar is they are allowed to do whatever they want. They kind of work independently under um, Disney. Mm-hmm. If I'm not mistaken, umbrella. but but yeah, man, it's. I, I, I don't know, dude. It, I'm, I'm personally, I'm. I didn't watch the Little Mermaid. I watched Pinocchio, but it was it was. No, Bad. I, I didn't like it. It, I didn't like it. And they used to be one up, of your I, favorite ones, huh? Like back the in the day, yeah. I the honestly day. gave up on all the the new ones, the live actions. The yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know. I I think I like what they did with Beauty and the Beast. I think that was a good one. The one with Cruella, I liked it because it didn't have to do with the Dalmatians just yet. It kind of was like her, her backstory, her backstory, her how she turned into Cruella and all that. Uh, you that just think she's hot, cool, I think. Huh? You just think she's hot. I'm not saying she's not, <laughs> but mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. But I, I thought it was a pretty interesting take on the Cruella character. Fair. It, it was its own independent story, you know? Right. Like, kind of like the Maleficent, how they based it off of the bad guy. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. They kind of uh, did uh, their own thing with it. Yeah. Like, if you want to take characters from this, from these movies and, like, make independent movies from them, I think that would be cool. But for you to just, like, go back and, like, recreate, like, reimagine some of these works, I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. I think they're already established. I think you should just leave them as is. If you want to reanimate them and like maybe like revoice them, mm-hmm. okay, cool. But I, I don't think live action is working for me. Like when I have kids, I'm probably gonna sit them down and have them watch the original. Oh yeah, right. Movies. Most definitely. That's what I'm gonna do. Just mm-hmm. the classic original OGs. Yeah, I'm, sure. I'm not. I'm not throwing in any of the live action in there, honestly. Maybe yeah. Beauty and the Beast and the ones we just spoke about, but not like the crappy ones. No. I, I haven't even thought about that. Just like Kay said, maybe reanimate them and then revoice them. Kind of just, you know, a, a reanimated version, reboot, mm-hmm. whatever you want to call Cleaned it. Up. Clean it up, maybe. Well, I mean, they've, they've done that for, for years, remastered. But like yeah, completely yeah. redo it. That could be interesting, maybe. Maybe. I think I would be more interested in that opposed to these live action ones I, I, I don't know it's an interesting idea I, I haven't thought about that yeah and then with that like I, I get there's things that you want to change in the story and I feel mm-hmm. like that would be okay as long as it's not like a major change mm-hmm. you know yeah. uh, and, and that's just my opinion like I, I feel like it would be for me a better choice to do that than to do live action movies they're going to do it regardless, right? These, yeah. these live action movies. Another one that's on the list, Guns. I happen to know that you like this one. And you've talked about this one in the past. I, I ain't going to say it. I like it, like it, but it's one of the good ones. All right. One of the yeah. most recent ones. The Princess and the Frog. And I know we talked about this a few episodes ago. And I know Disney's listening, you know, top top viewer. You of know, course, of course. Listening mm. to our, our opinion. Yeah, yeah. Listens to the fans. Yeah, Bob mm-hmm. Iger. Yeah, yeah. Friend yeah, of the yeah. show. That guy. <laughs> I was just waiting for it. I wasn't saying anything. I knew it was coming somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stop doing it, man. I think I gotta stop. He said he got into it because of James Gunn, you know. Right, right. Uh, James yeah, Gunn, yeah, you know, yeah, he yeah. listens all the time. He's right, right. Also a friend yeah, totally, of the show. Totally. Yeah, yeah, very much. And so. uh, you, you know, he, he he goes to Bob Iger one day. He says, you know, hey, you got to listen to this podcast. They got mm-hmm. some really good ideas. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, uh, yeah. yeah. That, that's how that came to be. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they definitely must be listening because Gunn stated a few weeks back that Make all a these live action one. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, it's happening. Yeah, they but, they heard guns and they're like, "Yep, let's do it." Mm-hmm, Prince is mm-hmm. the frog. But the direction that Disney's going right now with the live actions, I feel they're gonna get like Ariana Grande or something like that to be Tiana. You know, <laughs> they get the balls, right? Mm-hmm. They're gonna do it. But they could. They should. Yeah. 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 Why mm-hmm. not? Yeah. They they like switching everybody's roles. Mm-hmm. Snow White, Switch, Little switching, Mermaid, mm-hmm, switching races. Sometimes I feel like they have a whole bunch of like a like a jar, right? And they have a whole bunch of ideas in there, and they're mm-hmm. just like, "What kind of character should we make Tiana?" Let's see. She's going to be. She's going to be a turtle. And oh god, that was, <laughs> that was <laughs> instead of a frog. <laughs> She's the one. Yeah, she's turning into a turtle, but we're still calling it Princess and the Frog. It's going to be Princess and a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> that was leftovers from last week's episode. Yeah, yeah. I, I figured. You know those like those Mad Lib books or Ad Lib books where like it's like two people and you're just reading off like, all right, give me a verb. All right, give me a noun. Give me mm-hmm. a name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what they're doing over at Disney. That, yeah. That's what's going on. That Basically. has to be it. Okay, but... Sticking back to the story, mm-hmm. I'm seeing they're getting Zoe Kravitz, I'm pretty sure to be Tiana, right? Yeah. That's but what instead like. of changing the main character, which is the princess, they're, it looks like they're changing the race of the prince into Robert Pattinson. Into Robert Pattinson, yeah. Please see. So he's getting a swap. Oh. Mm. I, 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 it's been a long while since I've watched this. Was the prince a black dude in this one? He's That's not right a there. black dude, but yeah, I think he's. I think he's like he's black. I thought he was like Egyptian or something. Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He black, right? He looks. He's a he Mexican, Mex- bro. He looks Mexican. But he's not Mexican. <laughs> no, no, no. He, he's like. I'm telling you, he's like Egyptian or something. I think, or like yeah. so, like technically still part of Africa. I think, but like he's supposed to be like some sort of prince or. Well, if Robert Pattinson's playing the prince, in this sense. I think they're doing it right. Okay, the main character is obviously the the, the girl, right? Tiana. Mm-hmm. She's I the think. main character, and Disney would not dare change that character. They wouldn't dare. No, the the, the backlash that they would get if they swapped her, dude. Dis, Disney would be, Disney would be out of business. <laughs> but they can get a Mexican to play her, and call, instead of Tiana, she can be called. Diana. No. What? You know what? If they did that, they'd be like, nope, this isn't based in New Orleans anymore. Where's it at? Where's I ain't it saying lo- it. Where's it located? Say- I-, I ain't saying Guns. it. Guns. Guns. Texas. <laughs> also acceptable. <laughs> where were you going for? I know where you was going for. I knew mm. it. <laughs> but, but look, if they do the race swap for Little Mermaid... And they did it for Snow White. Snow White. Why don't you mean? just go all the way, full blown? You 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 starting to race swap all the princesses, like two movies oh, ago. Oh, I see. Go all the way. Just go all the way. Pull out your big Disney Willy and hit everybody in the face with it. You know why? You know why guns? <laughs> and for that reason, they wouldn't dare. They would not dare. Yeah, they they want to play this game. Go all the way. Play it all the way through. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, but they wouldn't dare. <laughs> mm. But yeah, Robert Pattinson, I think he's a much more of a minor character. Most of the time he's a frog anyways, right? In this yeah. movie? I mean, both of them are, I think, through like 90% of the movies. Yeah. If I remember correctly, the prince shows up and then I think that same night or the, the night after, that's when mm-hmm. he turned into a frog. Ah, oh, Because okay, he gets okay. tricked into it by the shadow man, hmm. who I thought was very cool. He's yeah, a cool I, villain. Thought, I thought he was a pretty cool villain. I thought he was uh-huh. very unique. Yeah. What about him? If they race swap him, <laughs> oh Lord. he'll be you he'll get a be hunk, the hunky yeah. white guy, <laughs> the, Ryan Gosling. The, the, the <laughs> uh, uh, no, you heard of us the the stealth cracker, the guy that cooks the crawfish and everything from Louisiana. They're gonna get what him the hell? to be Shadow Man. Oh my God. <laughs> You know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, I wouldn't put it past Disney. They they would do something like that. <laughs> what about Raymond? Raymond is a fly. He's he's a firefly. Oh, his yeah. name's already Spanish. 
They, they're going to get George Lopez. No. <laughs> it's going to be George Lopez. So Ramon, is, I think he's like a Creole. He's, he's, uh, he has that thick Louisiana accent. Yeah. Her. He's literally a firefly. Or the Stell Cracker can be Ramon. His Jesus voice. He, he has a straight southern, <laughs> straight southern voice. Kind of looks like him too. <laughs> <laughs> My name Ramon. I guess so they're at least casted correctly for Tiana. So I mean, it's yeah. kind of hard to screw this one up. Going, I think. Well, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's Disney. Yeah, it's Disney. <laughs> yeah, they'll eh. find a way. Yeah. Well, yeah. speaking of reptiles or amphibians. Oh. I, I feel there's going to be a new challenger soon. Or, or, or has it been talked about? There's going to be a collaboration. Oh, okay. Oh, for Street oh. Fighter VI. Oh, okay. Ooh, to tell, the brother guns. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are going to be new challengers you will be able to select. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. So, th- I, th- this isn't really a new concept for, for like Street Fighter to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, a few years ago, when I think it was like Street Fighter, I want to say it was four arcade edition. Oh, mm-hmm. you know what it was? It was Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Ah, okay, okay, okay. They started putting in like random characters. They put in like the OG Mega Man, where he was like fat and he instead of oh having, yeah like, yeah the little they blue did? bomber, he had like his little pistol. They had put in I think Pac Man, which like whack. <laughs> Pac Man was like in a big like robot fighter. Oh, it was like a drum with the face and like. I gotta see this. I didn't care for it personally. Ooh. Oh wow. Yeah that that was his that was his thing. That's Mega Man right there. Oh my god. Yeah, they had like the OG, the Fat Man. <laughs> yeah. Not the little <clears throat> blue bomber. Yeesh. That's like from the cover of the first game, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeesh. So glad he got a makeover. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of looks. It like, was pretty bad. Kind of looks like CK in pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to know how you know what he looks like in pajamas. Oh, I know. <laughs> Terrible. But yeah, yeah. Turtles, turtles have, have joined fighting games in the past. Mm-hmm. They have, they um, have, yeah. Yeah, I know that they were they were in one of the Mortal Kombat's. I think it might have been Injustice. That they I was. think so. I feel they'll fit in just right, except for how they're supposed to be like more comic-y than like Street Fighter style. Yeah. But I think it can be a good mix just because they're ninjas. They got move sets, you know, yeah. individual move sets for each one, like different styles. I'm just curious what their super or ultras are going to be. Yeah, and like I guess like Battle Toads also were like in Killer Instinct. I think the the remake, if I'm not mistaken, they were. Oh, wow, uh, the, which is pretty interesting. So it, it's not really a new thing to put like you know amphibious characters from our childhood into yeah. fighting games. I think it'll be cool. I think it'll be a little, a nice little way to mix it up. So long as they don't screwed up the character designs. Nah, it shouldn't. It shouldn't be too bad. It says costumes, so like characters that are already in the game, and then they get the skin. Yeah, yeah. That wouldn't uh, be too bad, I guess. Just like Raphael or Donatello with reused move sets. Ryu, Akuma, <laughs> and Ken, and Dan. Yeah, you know, kind of cool. Kind of cool to see some turtles still, you know, making their rounds. Making appearances yeah. here and there. Making a comeback. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm you gotta just... capitalize while it's hot, you know? Mm-hmm. You yes, sir. Yes, sir. It should be available now. I saw August 8th. So, surely Yesterday. these turtles are already on Brother Jay's console. Mm-hmm. I'm sure he's, he's already tested them out. He's already played through them. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm certain of it. I'm certain of it. Yeah. <laughs> Next up on the news, guys, we got a little bit of an update for Deadpool 3. Everything's still currently on halt. Nothing's moving forward. But it looks like Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman have stated that they will. one of the villains, if not the main villain, will be uh, Professor Xavier's twin sister. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm not very familiar with this character. I know I'm not in the nothing, least bit. nothing about this character. But apparently, Cassandra Nova will allegedly serve as the main villain for the Nova. film. Nova! As in, Casa Nova? No. <laughs> I mean, that's probably what they were going with. But um, apparently, in Marvel Comics, Cassandra Nova is a character linked to the X-Men series. 
created by Grant Morrison and Frank Quitley, she first appeared in New X-Men number 114 in 2001. <laughs> She's a psychic entity and the twin sister of Charles Xavier, also known as Professor X, who founded the X-Men. Does it stay, say anything what her power set is? And of course, for the movies, they could switch it up. I mean, just like Kamala, you know, Miss Marvel. Uh, yeah. They could switch up the power sets if they want. So, I mean, not that it really matters, matters, I guess, but it matters. Yeah. And I mean... Mm-hmm. Cassandra possesses telepathy comparable to Charles Xavier. After copying the DNA of Charles Xavier, the Mumadry, I don't know what that is, hmm. Cassandra Nova accessed the full spectrum of latent mutant functions in his genome. This means she has the powers of Charles Xavier, the ones he could have had, and the ones he might receive as a result of latent mutation. So she's so a stronger version like of she it. is Professor kind X. of Xavier pushed to the limits, almost. Like, she, hmm. she has full roam of his powers, of anything he could and can potentially do. Just as a Professor X 2.0. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, man, okay. I mean, yeah, so yeah. granting itself vast psionic powers, these powers include telepathy, telekinesis, and the ability to release an astral form, which she focuses both her telepathy and telekinesis. Hmm. She has all the powers of the average Moma Dry as well. Well, that could be interesting. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Apparently, she has already been casted. Emma Corrin is going to be taking that role. And Emma Corrin, I'm not super familiar with her, uh, but mm. she's been in such films as The Policeman, she's been The Crown on Netflix, the Misbehavior. Yeah. Not in a lot, huh? Not, not a whole lot there. Mm -hmm. The Crown is probably the biggest thing she's got right now. Yeah. These movies, they, they don't look familiar to me. Mm -hmm. But cool. Hey, so, side note, guys, about Deadpool 3. I, I, I just have a little question for you guys. All right. Mm -hmm. You know how some of the original classic X-Men are supposed to be in there, like Gene, Scott, Professor X, and all that? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I don't know if you guys heard. Supposedly, have you heard that Scarlet Witch is supposed to be in it, too? Deadpool yes. 3? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. Who would win in a fight? Scarlet Witch or the Phoenix? Phoenix. I don't know. Maybe. Mm, it depends on what stage, I guess, the Scarlet Witch would be in. I the mean, she gets she was, stupid the, the one powerful. She, the one she's at, she was at in Doctor Strange, let's say. Ooh. Or the Phoenix. I mean, they're both very, very powerful in different ways. Mm -hmm. Ah, man, that's that's a good one. That'd be a really yeah. good matchup. Yeah, I, I, I honestly don't know. I think strength-wise, probably Phoenix. Magic-wise... I don't know. There's so many variables, like mm -hmm. BB said. It'd be a good match. I think it's a tough one. Yeah. I personally think the Scarlet Witch would win. Because I know the Phoenix can revive Jean Grey's body if she were to be killed, as long as the soul is still intact. But I have a feeling if Scarlet Witch just destroys Jean Grey's body, the Phoenix will revive later, like decades or whatever. And somebody else. Because don't forget in the movie, that wasn't the what was written on the walls on her whatever castle thing mm -hmm. when they're looking for the book uh, that she was meant to rule the world or something like that or the universe. Yeah, yeah it's a good question, man. It's a, it's a good matchup for sure. Mm. You think they're gonna do it? No, nah. <laughs> they might no. have a they might have a small battle, but I don't think it'll be the main thing. I mean, it, it's a Deadpool movie, you know, mm. so they they might tease it. But it won't. It probably won't be anything big. But it will be cool to see if it happens. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm touching myself tonight. Moving on to the next story, guys. We've got the return of the Dark Knight, kind of Batman the animated series, but Without obviously Kevin Conroy. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be man. Kevin Conroy made that Batman. That he made that, that Batman, you know, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, it's an iconic voice. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I know that Batman has had other voice actors in the past in different series and video games and uh, movies, and 
But man, like, if you want to go animated, especially with this style, and this is supposed to be like a return of the same series, I mean, it's not it's not going to feel the same. No, mm-hmm. for sure. It, it's just, like, you know, I, I can respect the art because it, it is a really good art style for, for Batman. Yeah. But, uh, man, just... I don't. I don't know, man. The voice actor is. It, it sucks. He's part for, of the. He's part of the character. Yeah, mm-hmm. he is the character. I think in yeah. the animated series. Yeah, for sure. This is going to put a lot of weight on the voice actor who's going to voice Batman in this new series. Um, big shoes to fill. Yeah, yeah. Not nothing. Yeah, just good luck to him. It's good. Yeah, it's just I think you covered it. You said it right there. Big shoes to fill. mm Hmm. But yeah, dude, this, I mean, animated series, more Batman. Cool. I'm I'm down for yeah. that. Okay. I, what is, now that I'm thinking about it, if they would have like done a new series, you know, they, they come up with a new Batman series every few years. But this is a straight continuation. Yeah. To Batman, the animated series. It's just. It, it's a weird, it's a weird, mm, I guess, decision weird, to make. Yeah. I think, I think yeah. as long as they don't change the character, they'll be fine. You know, the guy doesn't, the new voice actor doesn't have to fill the shoes. I think he just has to create his own shoes. Right. You know, you don't want to replace what was. Yeah. Well, yeah, but that's why I'm saying, like, why would you continue the same one that Kevin Conroy acted all throughout mm-hmm. rather than just make a new one? Because you know? they got no ideas right now. <sighs> I, I don't know, man. I, don't, I, I really don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> I, I feel they should have just made a new series. It's Batman. You can do just about anything with Batman, but you chose to re, conti- or I guess like pick up the series again, the same mm-hmm. old series that Kevin Connery voiced. I think I- it was a weird call. We'll see how it works out. Yeah, gotta agree with that. Let's we'll see how it goes. Apparently, it's gonna be running up on Amazon Prime. It's gonna be an Amazon Prime series. Mm. Okay, and they were almost set to receive the project this year before it was delayed in 2024 following intense backlash. So it sounds like we're not the only ones saying it's, it's not a, a weird idea. step to take. Yeah, looks like there's no word yet as to when this will be released, but yeah, I'm sure they're working on it and we'll we'll get it best. sometime soonish. My arm's getting tired. I can't believe I was ever that green. This is how you interrogate someone. Last story of the day is going to be the massive success that the Barbie movie has produced. This, I ain't gonna lie, kind of surprised me. Mm-hmm. I, I, I heard when the Barbie movie was announced and, you know, it didn't get my attention. It's just like, eh, whatever, Barbie, cool. Mm-hmm. But I guess when it released, I mean... It released a, a few weeks after Flash did, which Flash was supposed to be that big, big movie, but, you know, Backlash and... Controversy. Ursa Miller. Yeah. 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 That movie flopped hard. Flop, flat in its face. But when Barbie and Oppenheimer released, I mean, those two <laughs> blew up. Yeah. yeah massive, massively successful. With the success of Barbie comes other stuff other older toys from the past are now mm-hmm. going to the box office thanks barbie look what you did so one of them that i did hear is the crayola movie mm-hmm. which i did hear about a while back i didn't look into it let's see now crayon movie my bad not crayon, oh. crayon movie they're gonna start making the movies or something like that like the rock and sock and robots i think I want. I don't know if we were joking around about Play-Doh, but I think maybe Play-Doh. Oh, we yeah, we were just messing oh, around on that one. Okay, okay. <laughs> I've heard. I want to say I've heard that American Girl, which is a really really popular line of toys that are supposed to be like your little girl, your daughter goes and she like picks out her best friend or whatever. You can do like mm-hmm. outfits. Yeah, I know we've talked about Barney, which right. is a weird take. Let's Actually, see, Hot I, Wheels, I think. Oh, yeah, Hot Wheels was one up there that they were working on. Mm-hmm. You know, one that I did hear about also, which I thought it was fake, but uh, supposedly I have heard that is in the talks of being made also is the Magic 8-Ball. Oh, yeah, yeah, we talked about <sighs> that. Yeah, that's that's weird. I mean, they kind of have a horror movie on that already, right? I but have no idea. I, I thought they did. It was like, will I live today? <laughs> Uh, oh, not not today. (laughs) What about tomorrow? Perhaps. (laughs) It's like ask again tomorrow. (laughs) 
<laughs> they're they're really they're really running out of ideas, man. Yeah, they they're, they're grasping at straws, just trying to see what what's gonna stick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I was going to say that I instead of making movies out of these you know toys, make video documentaries. games. Documentaries, oh, but no, I mean that's not. Cool. Yeah, I, I mean that, I enjoy. Sell, though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not going to sell, especially not in movie theaters. I would watch something like that, like on Netflix or on Hulu yeah. or whatever, right? Like a streaming service. I would watch that. But in theaters, I mean, yeah, you're right. It's not going to sell. Yeah. And I, I don't know. There's a word for the kind of movie, but like Oppenheimer was based on, you know, the, the atom bomb, a story behind it. And then at the end, it's kind of like a documentary. I, I don't remember the word, but like Oppenheimer was a, a biographical thriller, right? And so, you know, it's kind of like a documentary, but they put more drama, more story, more character building, more, you know, make it more like a movie. A the, little bit of zest in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The the O.J. Simpson, they had, a you know, something similar a few years back on Netflix, and it was more story. It was more about the events. It wasn't all about the courtroom. It was about the events and how it happened. And, you know, they, they yeah. put more drama and more, more story into these things. And, mm. like, I'm not the biggest fan of those kind of films. Like, it really, really depends on the, on the topic, on the main thing that they're covering. But even one of those for a Crayola movie, like what? <laughs> yeah, I it's like weird the color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's weird. My crayons. You got a crayon? I had crayons too. Crayon. He's dating a crayon. I think all that's right, all the time guys. we have for the show, yeah, guys. Yeah, I think that is all the time it's we got. It's time to close, close it, down. it down. Please visit us at www.thesfl.com where you can listen to all of our prior episodes. Mm-hmm. You can also check out bro etiquette we go through the bro code bro code 101 see if it works in the modern day you can also follow us on social media you can follow us on facebook instagram formerly known as twitter now x tiktok youtube threads and if you're looking for any outtakes any bloopers any behind the scenes kind of stuff you can check us out on patreon if you're on the go guns where can they find us you can find us on Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, Stitcher, and Sweet Sweet Pandora. Mm-hmm. Love Pandora. Actually, you know what? Isn't Stitcher shutting down pretty soon here? They are. They are. Yeah. They're pretty soon at the end of the month. At Make the end of the month. All yeah. your stuff out to another streaming service. You don't want to lose your place. You don't want to lose your markers, your your playlists, your your podcasts. Yeah, yeah. You don't you don't want to lose us. You don't want to lose mm-hmm. us. Keep mm-hmm. us. You want to keep us. Yeah, yeah. Make sure to follow us. Give us a like. Give us a rating. Let us know how we're doing. If you want to shoot us emails, you can email me at agentk at the sfiles.com. You can send me all your fan mail at guns at the sfiles.com. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, bogusbird at the sfiles.com. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. This is Bogus Bird signing out. This is Gun signing out. This is Agent K saying see you later. Catch you on the next one. Peace. Deuces. So sensitive. No, no, no. I'm, I'm trying to say it like, dude. I took some mean. Great, mighty fool. What's going on? Mm. Oh, you're how, already how recording. Mean? I mean, huh? they're, they're pretty bad. <laughs> like, dude. Jeez. Yeah. It's <laughs> slipping my mind. You are already recording. But it's okay. It's, it's already been captured. There's no going <laughs> back. Mm-hmm. Dude, mm-hmm. I blew that mm-hmm. up. Mm hmm. Yeah, I was actually late to work this morning because oh, of goodness. that. Oh wow! <laughs> no, it, it wasn't even mud like butt. That. It was worse. Yeah, mm. yeah, basically. Mm. Get out the way! Get out the way! Get out the way! <laughs> when you were delivering your your stuff, you're like, stand up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Legit, yeah? that happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I, I just looked Death. right there, like on the truck. I was like, nope, I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad.